It's time to mind your business with me, Jamila Lodge. Tune in to find out how to mind your business with BEDC, special guest entrepreneurs, industry experts, and more. Brought to you by BEDC. Bermuda business starts here. Welcome to Mind Your Business. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Um, I'm Jamila Lodge. I'm your host, and you are Kyle Swan. That is correct. And you're the founder of Swan Pyrotechnics. Correct. So before we get into all the questions and answering, um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, most recently, I moved back to Bermuda. Um, it's like a month and a few weeks ago. Oh, welcome back. Um, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Passionate about what I'm doing, what I've been doing. Trying to build this business from afar has just been extremely difficult, as I you can imagine. imagine. Because Bermuda, obviously, is based around relationships. Mm -hmm. So um, I felt it was very necessary to come back home. Um, but my background is in uh, firefighting, paramedicine, and I have a bachelor's degree in information systems. So the over the last eight years of, of doing that, mm -hmm. um, it has just given me the, the appetite and the aptitude to have that, the exposure to uh, the NFPA policies and procedures, which are required to, to, to understand what I do, um, the, the ATF policies and procedures, everything it takes in the US procedurally um, uh, to do this and then add that to Bermuda mm -hmm. that actually didn't have that infrastructure in place despite us having fireworks in the past. Right. Everything is brand new. And um, I've spent a lot of time, obviously, um, putting that infrastructure in place as well. So um, it's been very, very exciting. And I'm, I'm just happy to um, have had that exposure to be able to step into this and, and do it um, with what it requires now. Okay. So pyrotechnics, obviously, yes. it's fireworks, right? That's what we're thinking. Yes. Or that's at least what I think when mm -hmm. I hear that. Mm -hmm. um, so talk a little bit about what Swan Pyrotechnics does. Like, what services do you provide? Is sure. it exclusively fireworks? Or just tell us a little bit more about that. Absolutely not. Um, what I've noticed is, well, just as an entrepreneur, you have to adapt to the market. And there's so many pieces. Um, fireworks aren't necessarily appropriate in every scenario. Right. And so my job is to say, okay, how do I fit what I do into most people's price points as well as experiences and events? So that has included adding special effects. So mm -hmm. now I'm Swamp Pyrotechnics and special effects. Okay. That includes um, something that I refer to as flame towers or um, poofers. They create their propane-based um, apparatuses that poof flames. I okay. have a video of that. I'll be happy to share. All this stuff can be found on my website and or uh, my YouTube page. Um, then there's uh, basically, I guess the best way to describe it is concerts. If you go to a major concert today, like Travis Scott, mm -hmm, Drake, mm -hmm. etc., they're going to have pyrotechnicians, mm -hmm. a part of their team that travel with them. Mm -hmm. And so they're doing the flame effects. They're doing the, the smoke um, effects, um, which is technically CO2. Um, they're doing everything that kind of goes boom, pop, et cetera, yeah. is, is in that realm. So it's just bringing the entertainment. It's bringing the fun. It's bringing the experience. Um, so what I do, again, is the experience is, is all experience-based. So whether you need something small like sparklers, yes. all the way up to a fireworks show and everything in between to T-shirt launchers. Okay. Um, I recently brought in a cannon simulator, actually. And uh, with our heritage here, having so many forts and so many cannons, mm -hmm. it's like, how do we bring this to life? Oh, that is so cool. So, so we've successfully done so and, uh -huh. and demoed it up at the, the National Museum of Bermuda. And uh, that is, is my hope that that can be a tourist tourism revenue yeah. source that people, you know, Americans love, love, love pyrotechnics yeah. in all the shapes and sizes. So um, that's going to be something pretty exciting that I'm, I'm hoping to add to Bermuda and the experience that we can offer here. That's awesome. I can tell you personally, I know it's a miss, right, for New Year's and all of that. We had the one company, I believe, that provided mm -hmm. um, fireworks and all of that. And then when they no longer did, it was just a void. Correct. And so now you're coming in to fill that void. What mm -hmm. was the process for you of being able to get licensed, I assume, to be able to do that? I know you have your training and all of that yeah. from the state. But what was required here locally to do it? Um, and and honest, honestly, that's what I've had to, over the last 
six years of doing this. Yeah. I have been behind the scenes trying to bring this here. Um, everything it takes is basically starting the infrastructure in the United States. Mm -hmm. you, we, I couldn't do this here without the infrastructure in the United States, which includes, again, understanding the NFPA policies and procedures, getting ATF approved and certified, mm -hmm. having a squeaky clean background check, having um, hands-on um, training with fireworks display mm -hmm. companies mm -hmm. there that in which you have to build trust to the point where they're going to allow you to have permission to become a lead, design, execute uh, shows. Okay. And that's all a part of the requirements necessary to have the U.S. guidelines and regulations. And then I brought them over here and it was like, okay, that's really cool. Wow. But we don't have the infrastructure here right. to, to add that into it. So um, in the past, um, the, the, the other company, they were doing it for so long yeah. that they were grandfathered in. So now with regulations and mm -hmm. everything else, the way it should be to make things safer, um, it's taken quite a lot and it's wow. still continuously taking a lot. But, you know, it's you got to get forged in the fire to, yeah. to to get stronger and to do this. So, so what was your catalyst? Like you, you like you said, you have, you have a fireman's background and all of this yeah. other stuff. What made you decide that you want to go great, into entrepreneurship? Great, great question. So, I was actually here. Um, I when I was living in the states, I would try to spend New Year's here. Yeah. Day. And so I think it was 2016. I was here for New Year's. Yeah. Out. And just expected there to be fireworks. Of course, right? And five, four, three, two, one, happy new year. And, and I was you're like, like what? Am I missing something? Like I don't <laughs> I said, where'd y'all bring me up? Should I should I have been in St. George? Should I have been in like where am I? Yeah. And um through a sense of just then the gossip mail, you start hearing about, oh yeah, he he retired and mm -hmm. this and that and the other. And just through a sense of pride of country. I've always wanted to come back to Bermuda. Mm -hmm. And um, when I was a paramedic, they didn't have the infrastructure for paramedicine in place. And I tried to go down that road and just became too daunting. And mm -hmm. then now I said, okay, let's do fireworks. Even yeah. worse, the infrastructure is <laughs> not in place and it's even more daunting. Yeah. But it, it, I'm excited to be back for that. But that's what drove me through a sense of pride of country okay. to say we need to have this because yeah. it's crucial. It's not about, oh, here's an opportunity to make money. Not, yeah. not even. It is countries show their strength, show their awareness through the use of fireworks. Mm -hmm. um, all over the world, families generationally pass down information on how to build fireworks. It is an incredible story once you get into uh, the nitty gritty of, of this industry where nobody even understands or realizes. Yeah, it's no, a, it's especially not here. <laughs> right, it's a beautiful story. Is it? Um, and so, through pride and country, I said, I need to go out and figure this out. So mm -hmm. I went down, or there's a rabbit hole for anything you want to learn. <laughs> That's true. And so I went down that, and I said, with the aptitude and the appetite that I had as a as a first responder, yeah. I said, okay, this this is right up my alley. Let's figure it figure it out. So that's when I started going down the the paths and meeting people and trying to get involved and. All my money went into this to just learn and to just get in there. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, then here I am. All yeah. right. Well, yeah. welcome home. I appreciate that because I, I agree with you 100%. It was definitely a miss. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we live in the Warwick area. So fireworks used to go off all the time, like right at South P. I don't know if people were having parties and things mm -hmm. like that. So mm -hmm. it's definitely a miss. So it's nice to hear that you're bringing it back. Mm -hmm. But what's even better, I think, is that you are... Are broadening the service offering because not everybody maybe can afford a yeah, full absolutely. fireworks show absolutely. but maybe i can get sparklers absolutely. or the poofs like he, yes <laughs> you yes, said. yes 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 so what is have you had an opportunity to kind of do some shows and showcase what you've done since you've been home yes yeah, so um our, our debut show um was the bow parade oh uh, cool December the 11th. yeah and uh, that i i can say was the largest show ever in Bermuda, just due to the shell size that we use. Mm -hmm. And um, I, th I thought it was very well received. Unfortunately, the weather, you know, I scared know. people off a little bit. Um, and, uh, and it probably could have been broadcasted more so from a marketing perspective. That's something that I'm trying to work on as mm -hmm. well. But that um, we did an incredibly great job with, with Bermudian people who were just all new 
and uh, they they got a real great exposure to what the fireworks industry is, mm-hmm. and got to do a world class show okay. size wise, um, like never done before in Bermuda. So That's awesome. Proud of that. So, what are your plans? Like, what 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 do you have lined up in terms of other types of events that you would be willing or interested in and in showcasing what you do? Um, always open for like so the. So what fireworks were before and how it was a lot of group Mm -hmm. um, uh, industry that would come here Mm -hmm. and order fireworks. But I'm trying to, my passion in regards to this has always been uh, New Year's Eve. And the reason being, um, from a a tourism and marketing perspective, a billion people watch fireworks around the world for the New Year's uh, Eve. So that's broadcasted on ABC, NBC, all of the all of the major um, U.S. Uh, television broadcast mm-hmm. channels. So as they start in Australia, which I've been to that show and it was incredible, and they work their way, they get to New York, and now to New York, it's just a huge waiting period until yeah. they get to to London. Here's our chance to invest in a fireworks display that will help people to recognize that oh yeah, that's Bermuda over there, and we have the opportunity to be featured on that and put ourselves on the world stage and we access a billion people. So to me, um, the, the, the value in that, the money spent into that, everyone's more so like, oh, fireworks are expensive. But on the flip side, it's almost like we can't afford not to spend money on fireworks mm-hmm. because if you were to go home tonight, shut off all the lights inside and out, put a bulb in the middle of your living room, mm-hmm. open the sliding door, I dare you, it's going to look like Noah's Ark in there because all these bugs and stuff are going to come <laughs> into that light, right? We're no better than that. And we're, we're moths to the flame. Right. So people love, love, love fireworks. And it is just a huge trickle-down economic effect um, for all the vendors and all the people that go out there as well. And, yeah. So in that regard, what does it take for that to happen? So I, in my mind, I'm already thinking, like, you have to facilitate these partnerships with, mm-hmm. like, the BTA, with mm-hmm. the, the city, for example, mm-hmm. um, because this is where the fireworks would be typically held. Are you making those inroads? Like, how are, how are you navigating that? Yeah, so I've, I've made... Because I've been at this for quite some time. Yeah, now, right? you said six that, years, right? Correct, correct. Going That's, on seven. Wow. So I've I've met all the people. I've I've built the relationships, but it has it keeps that coming down to budget, right? And times and right. This, it, it, it's always some so, some kind of obstacle, which it will always be, and that's the nature of being an entrepreneur. That but is true. I think that um, since we haven't had it for so long, the idea of what it can be and yeah. what it does from outside of the price tag of it is 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 missed it's right. being missed right now so it's my hope and and why i'm so glad you have me here is that as people understand the impact that fireworks has mm-hmm. and i've seen it on from small little blueberry festivals in the middle of indiana in a cornfield somewhere where tens of thousands of people come at their chairs to eat blueberry ice cream and watch, watch a fireworks, fireworks show. Yeah. That's the primary draw. Yeah. And um, the sponsorships come out of everywhere. So mm-hmm. it's only a matter of time. And I just don't think um, that that model has quite caught on here just yet. Yes. And I believe it will. And, and it's necessary because it's... Um, it's kind of only a matter, matter of time. I think so, too. I mean, when you think about the different experiences that currently exist and how the addition of fireworks or the different types of um, activations that you have can enhance that experience, Mm -hmm. right? So existing experiences, I think, can only be enhanced when we have a festival or show or carnival is this weekend and they got, you see what I'm saying? Like, can you imagine if they had these extra accents to just add that additional flair? Correct. Um, So I think like you said, you just got here, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I think mm-hmm. it, it is, like you said, getting people to know that that is an option now, mm-hmm. whereas it wasn't before. Correct. Now it's an option. And so I think that can be built into that event planning process and, Correct. you know, costs associated with putting on the event um, to give you the ability to deliver these experiences or Correct. enhance Correct. The experiences, you know? Correct. Correct. Yeah. And, and it's so new right now just mm-hmm. because I'm constantly adding and, and trying to say, okay, 
um, let me build in, like I said at the beginning, mm -hmm. a price point or, or a varied amount of um, experience offering so that I can meet people where they are. Right. And then that translates into, what do you do? Oh, I don't need a fireworks show, so I don't need him. Yeah. Or my, my event's in the daytime, so it's nothing he can help me with. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's completely completely not true mm -hmm. there's daytime there's close proximity there you know circuses and different events things that you see on um, stages that's there's pyrotechnics in everything and that's what um, I know at least from being in the industry but mm -hmm. it's hard to get that um, understanding out into the community as we start because to they don't something know because yeah, they don't they know, don't know. Yes. I mean I think historically yes. what we have been treated to was like you said from the previous owner who mm -hmm. did fireworks and they would usually at the larger events and Correct. things like that so you don't really know the application for my individual personal event you, you just don't think about it that way but yes. I think as you start to introduce it and be at these events and partner with these other events mm -hmm. um then people will get a chance to see the application. I agree. And I'm sure you're going to have takers. <laughs> I agree. I want to talk to you a little bit about your actual experience mm -hmm. as an entrepreneur. Um, you've already indicated like you've been doing this for almost seven years. Mm -hmm. And that's like building the groundwork mm -hmm. of what's going to, what was required for you to get this business started in Correct. Bermuda. Correct. But having said that, what has been your biggest challenge to actually getting this going? Yeah, um, it, it, the biggest challenge is kind of what we just finished speaking of, okay. which is trying to um, help people to see what it is that I offer and also the standard operating procedures and having to put the framework here together in Bermuda. Um, like I said, we've had the fireworks in the past, mm -hmm. but they weren't governed and restricted and understood the way they are now. Mm -hmm. And so I've had to really put that infrastructure in place to, to help the authorities govern me. Because this industry is, no matter where it is, it's highly regulated, as it should. I'm thinking, yeah. Cause so <laughs> the police and the fire and the bomb yeah, squad, yeah. everybody has to, we have to be friends with. Right? right. And so that entails, well, I don't know what this guy does. and and. I don't know if he can do that. And what is this? What mm -hmm. is close proximity pyrotechnics? You know, what are flame towers? What What is this stuff? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so it's a matter of having to say, okay, this is what it is. Procedurally, this is what I do. This is how I do it. This mm -hmm. is how I keep the public safe. Mm -hmm. the, you know, I'm not reinventing the wheel here. Right. I'm just taking all of the guidelines that we use Already around the exists. world yeah, yeah. and educating um, the authorities so that they can govern me to make sure I'm doing it. <laughs> so, so we know we have having fireworks this New Year's Eve, right? <laughs> Nothing confirmed just yet. Today, actually, I'm, in, I'm launching the, f the first, um, I call it the Swamp Pyro Academy. Okay. And what it is, it's going to be a destination dockyard. It's going to be at the, the next few destination dockyards. Oh, nice. Where people get an opportunity to come, purchase, um, a category of pyrotechnics, which is referred to as safe and sane. Mm -hmm. this is, these are things that in America you can go to the store and purchase off of the shelf, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you have a trained pyrotechnician, an operator to come and guide you through your purchase mm -hmm. to use it right there on site and learn how to safely understand what it is you're using and use that product right then and there and enjoy it. So I think it's necessary just from an educational aspect to... Um, have our people understand when they go to the United States where it's like everything is open and free, mm -hmm. you don't want somebody grabbing something off the shelf and be like, I don't even know what this is. Why not educate our, our people to mm -hmm. um, being able to use something as, as opposed to creating a fear of something that is perfectly um, acceptable and safe to use. So, so you'll be at um, Desti Destination Dockyard. Correct, tonight. Which, okay, so that's exciting. Mm -hmm. What about like Harbor Nights and things like that? Since that's something that is yeah. happening, a lot of tourists come, so they would already be used to these kind of things. But it Absolutely. is an opportunity, a lot of locals come down too. So, is that I'm excited about partnering with Harbor Nights? Yeah, the, the challenge is people turn over very quickly, and a lot of um, the agency. So, so a lot of times I build relationships. And then that person, gone. yeah. Start yeah. all over again. Start yeah, all over. So yeah, I've been starting yeah. all over again. So you can imagine the last seven years, 
starting all over again constantly because people change. And so um, I'm, I'm back in trying to, uh, in talks with trying to do something at Harbor Nights. Okay. I personally think there needs to be fireworks every night to draw people out. Mm -hmm. And the tourists are here. They're going to say, oh, there's fireworks over there. Let's go see what yeah. Bermuda has to offer yeah. when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's important, whether it be sunset cruises, to, like, everything doesn't have to be a major holiday for right. fireworks to happen. Right. right? Um, birthdays, weddings. Yeah. We lose a lot of people, honestly, um, particularly Americans who are like, what do you mean I can't have sparklers or, or some small thing at yeah, my wedding? Yeah, yeah. I'll go to the Bahamas or somewhere else where I can do that, right? right. So I think it's so important that, um, you know, we, again, scale things, give people access to it. And now, like never before, we have such a strict infrastructure in place to make sure ultimately that people are safe. that's the most important thing. Right. And all the education that you learn when you're doing pyrotechnics, it's not about how to make it fun and beautiful. It's really not that at all. It's, <laughs> it's safety, not safety, not safety. Stuff. Don't destroy, you know, don't do this. <laughs> uh, make sure you're this many feet away and right. double that. And right, right. That's really what it's all about and what it should be all about. Yeah, so. I mean, that's comforting to hear, right? Yeah. I think we like looking at it. It's pretty and it's exciting, but yeah. there there is a lot of things that go into making sure that people are safe and yeah. things don't get blown up. Yeah. Um, so it's comforting to know that you have that expertise yeah. and you brought that infrastructure here because, yeah. like you said, it wasn't any before. Correct. Because the person that started maybe, um, like you said, was grandfathered in. Mm -hmm. um, so now I want to talk a little bit about the opportunity for employment, right? Because mm -hmm. it sounds to me like you're going to need people who have this kind of skill set. Yeah. What do you think about that? Like, what are your plans um, in regards to that, building your team out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's For me, it's about education, which yeah. I love, um, which is why I even called this thing the academy, right? Like, I think um, I love to share that and I love to educate people. Um, what that means when it comes, like, this isn't my full-time gig just yet, unfortunately. Okay. Because, um, like I said, we're, we're building, building, yeah. building. And, and definitely over time, I have a group of about 10 people right now that... Um, I can contract with to do things um, as, as we go forward, and that's going to require um, a lot of training and educating. Um, unfortunately, um, in the United States, I can take people out to this county yeah. and show people how to do stuff and actually have a live demo. Yeah. Here, we can't do that. So every, every training opportunity is going to be a live show. Mm -hmm. So um, it's all trial by fire. Like, um, so it's, it's definitely more challenging. But um, right now, I need to kind of keep things a little bit small. So within that 10 right now, I think is, is more than sufficient so that I can adequately train people, particularly in something that's so um, uh, dangerous unless mm -hmm. you do you know, certain things. And 10 is a lot. I mean, it's, relative it is. to Bermuda. <laughs> it, it, it I'm is. like, that's quite impressive, actually. Yeah, yeah. So so I think um, this is something where everybody would once again involve, but it's not appropriate for everybody. Yeah. It's, it's, but um, it's definitely it's definitely important. And I will definitely need help on, on many different fronts. And, and once this blows up, then, you know. <laughs> you like, I did that, I right? Did, yeah. I did, I did, I did, I <laughs> did. <laughs> yeah. <yep. laughs> no, seriously though, because I'm thinking like it wasn't anything before once the guy retired. So yes. there is an opportunity, I think, for it to be applied across all of these areas yeah. that we focus on: tourist related, yeah. private events, weddings, and all of that. And so, in doing yeah. so, we already consider ourselves like a destination for weddings and things like that. So Correct. adding this to um, the pot then creates opportunities for people mm -hmm. to get trained up, like you said, mm -hmm. and for, a, who knows, a whole new pyrotechnics industry yeah. Um, yeah. To, yeah. To, to build in Bermuda. And who would have thought that, right? Right, 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 right. Absolutely. Now, I want to go back to something you said, because you said this isn't your full-time thing. Now, you seven years later, it's not your full-time thing. I get it. But what do you do in your full-time, and how are you managing and navigating that, right? Because it requires a lot of work to yeah. do this. <laughs> Yeah, and I thought that's why um, coming back here added, because I'm pretty impressed having done as much as I've done overseas. Overseas, yeah. To be able to even have that first uh, show, but it, it's it's extremely difficult. It, it absolutely is, but you just have to do like it. Like Mikey, you just have to do it exactly. <laughs> like Mikey, exactly. Just I do mean, it. you're you're not gonna be you're not gonna be able to get the newest, nicest stuff every. 
you may be the worst dressed person in the room, but <laughs> for now, for now, but you just have to hustle and hustle hard. Yeah. And just time manage. Um, don't go to the gym. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just yeah. one of those things where it's like, these are certain things that are very important to me. Um, you just have to um, put, put aside sometimes. Yeah. And they may not always be necessarily the best and the healthiest choice, but mm -hmm. um, you really just have to roll up your sleeves and, and when you're really passionate and dedicated about something. And, but when you see people so excited and yeah. hollering and screaming and the boats honking, et cetera, after you've done what you've done, it's just... It fuels you for the next one, and the next one could be a year later. Yeah, and it really is just the industry of smiles and the industry of entertainment, but more so the experience economy, which is something that um, we're not quite. We need a whole another uh, mind your own business to even talk about. Yeah, but um, a, a fun fact: the second largest purchaser of explosives in in the world mm -hmm. is Disney. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And so when, when people talk about um, um, you know, the value and the cost of a pyrotechnic, yeah. when they took that away during COVID, that's when they realized how many tens of thousands of dollars that they were just use, losing off of just vending, not to mention the shops mm -hmm. being open. Because mm -hmm. um, people stayed until 9 o'clock. People will be there. Um, and so, yeah, so that's that's a huge revenue source from the trickle-down as aspects to the economy. So, again, Disney is the second largest next to the U.S. military. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, the government. <laughs> fireworks yeah. because they understand, like nobody else, yeah. what experiences mean. Right. And, and a fireworks show will stay in your memory. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to the fireworks shows, um, and I am hopeful that people jump on board. I know they will. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it, it, it definitely adds that extra oomph, if you will, mm -hmm. to, to events. And I think, like you said, it's just about seeing it and getting used to it being available, yes. you know, on the island. Because we just were like, well, that guy's not doing it anymore, so I guess we're not having fireworks. Right. So um, now that we have someone who's able to do it, I think people will be like, okay, now I can, mm -hmm. you know, can it'll, build this into my own boost world. our boost yeah. our social media presence. For sure. And, and so much of our um, content yeah. around the world because you know people post it and it stays there forever and everybody has their phone out there in a fireworks show mm -hmm. so it's it's going somewhere right and so i think um it will kind of get us out of those dark ages of what's happening in bermuda well you know that that information stays out there forever so that's i would I, I mean what you said earlier about the opportunity to be broadcast to billions of people because you said there's that break it's after they do dark you know what i mean yep. and then then they wait for the uk and it's like oh but we're right in the middle that's why we're so we're in a prime position for travel right because yes. we're close enough to the uk and we're close yes. enough to the states so why can't we utilize that time mm -hmm. to showcase bermuda with the, the editors would love to not have that gap in yeah there. They have to chop out and it's like oh bermuda's there okay now we'll just, that's a natural progression we're not competing with any other right. islands it's not like jamaica or whatever is here and it's like well which one can we choose there's nothing else right so it's an easy win it's an absolutely easy win yeah, hey, I like that. That's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. Are you listening? It's in whoever <laughs> needs to listen. Are yeah. you listening? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, we talked about, to me, that's like a huge vision. Mm -hmm. um, and we talked about the fact that you're splitting yourself to do whatever you're doing full time. Mm -hmm. And with this, this is your goal to finally do Swan Pyrotechnics as your full time? Is that what you're working I towards? I would love to be able to do that because working and training people and providing jobs in a community that I love yeah. so much so that I came here right. to try and do this is just, um, it's definitely the natural progression and something that I would, um, you know, absolutely am interested in doing. Okay, yeah. look at yeah. you. Yeah. Well, look, you came back with a plan. Yep. We came back with a plan. So outside of providing uh, this experience for Bermuda, mm -hmm. Do you have any plans to grow this business outside of Bermuda? Or is the primary focus just Bermuda? Primary focus is Bermuda because okay. I do believe that there's enough of a, um, a, of a demand 
like my goal is to build this place up. And I know that um, it can be done because I've seen it done mm-hmm. um, in, in the United States, like I said, in podunk towns to big cities, right? And so I think it's, it's a crucial part of our experience economy of which we don't quite have a grip on. No, we're, we stay looking for experiences, right? That's so, like an ongoing so thing. So there's enough to do here. And since I've been back, I realize there is plenty of work to do here yeah. that I'm like, well, I'm not even going to take a vacation. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm here now. And it's like, there needs to be, there's so much that can be done. Right. And um, I think the United States has itself covered. I'm thankful for having that um, exposure to that, to be able to learn this and grow this um, um, ex- um, in my experience base. But I'm here to be here and I'm constantly adapting what my offerings are in order to, to meet, you know, and that's what it's about, that's right? Necessary. You got to be flexible. That's the first thing that you have to be as flexible as an entrepreneur. Yeah. Um, so tell us how we can get in touch. So whoever's listening and watching mm-hmm. and saying, listen, I want to get me some sparklers or yeah. well, how do we find you? What what, what um, should people do? I love do? Uh, WhatsApp is the easiest thing. Um, easily there. Swanpyro.com. Right? Okay. Just S-W-A-N-P-Y-R-O. Uh, dot com. You can access me through there and see what my offerings are. Um, and so that's, those are the easiest ways to get a hold of me. Okay. Um, yes, I have YouTube. Yes, I have Instagram and all these other things. But um, you send me a WhatsApp and you explain to me, hey, I have this event. And what can you do? Give me a suggestion. Not necessarily uh, how much does this cost? Right. It's like, I don't even know your event. Right. Right. So let's Let's start with the, the planning and the consulting aspect of this to say, let's see what your event is and I'll let you know what we can add to this and then we can build a, a package to go with that experience as, according to how you want to enhance it. That's awesome. And it may, like I said, it may not include fireworks, which is completely fine. Because you got something for that. Yeah, I got something for that. <laughs> I got something. I, it's, it's hard. I'm not going to say no. I, I can guarantee I have something, even if it ends up being a box of sparklers <laughs> you know with, yes. with that budget but it's something absolutely okay. i love it well thank you so much for minding your business with yes, us today yes, kyle yes. welcome back home i appreciate it i am you. so excited to see what you do and the next show we can catch thank you so much kyle okay. thanks for minding your business thank with you us. appreciate it hey you know what yes if you don't mind your business who will nobody i can guarantee you <laughs> after seven years Ain't nobody minding. <laughs> my mother, my mother's coming on board now that I'm here, right? Yeah. But like, you you have to um, stay steadfast to whatever you're passionate about. Perfect. So, yeah. Thanks again. <laughs> you're welcome. Thanks for tuning in to Mind Your Business with me, your host Jamila Lodge. Tune in next week Thursday at 4 p.m. because if you don't mind your business, who will? Mind Your Business is brought to you by BEDC. Bermuda business starts here.